Welcome back, Profs. We have a lot of sports to talk about today, so without further ado, it's, it's Profs Huddle. Huddle. What's up, Profs? I'm Ava. And I'm Melanie. Today, we're not just celebrating the end of another season. We are making history as the first female duo to ever host Profs Huddle. It's an honor and a privilege to be here today, and we hope you're ready for this season's finale. Before we jump into all things spring sports, let's start by congratulating and thanking someone who will always have a lasting impact on Rowan's athletic department. After an impressive 22 years leading Rowan University's football program, Jay Acorsi, the most successful head coach in the team's history, has just announced his retirement, wrapping up an incredible 30-year journey with the university. Acorsi guided the profs from 2002 to 2023 to unprecedented success, winning seven NJAC titles and reaching the NCAA Division III championships seven times. With a coaching record of 143 to 78, he led his team to seven straight NCAA playoff appearances, as the Rowan community says goodbye to a coaching legend, Acorsi's legacy will remain strong at Rowan, leaving a lasting impression on the program and the lives of many student athletes. Now swinging it over to our profs at softball. They have been on a total takedown against everyone they have faced. Since our last episode, the team has won six of their last eight games. Talk about taking care of business. Playing double headers all week starting April 14th, they won one and one, against strong teams of Ramapo and TCNJ on the 16th. After, after playing away their past four games, they come back home to face Rutgers Newark on the 20th, outscoring them in both games 20 to one. Going right back on the road to Rutgers Camden didn't stop their intensity. They they took both games in a dominating fashion, outscoring the Scarlet Raptors 20 to three. Let's hope our profs keep this up with the upcoming games. To continue talking about our amazing softball team, I'll hand it over to my right hand. It's been an intense ride for the profs, with each game pushing the limits of excitement, but the best is yet to come. In the 10 to nothing win against TCNJ, Rowan's star pitcher, Emily McCutcheon, delivered a jaw-dropping performance pitching a five-inning no-hitter against the Lions. Talk about making a statement. Emily recorded five strikeouts in the game, putting her season ERA at an impressive 1.29 with a total of 74 strikeouts on the year, solidifying her position as one of the most dominant pitchers in the NJAC. Speaking of the NJAC, let's see where our profs are in the standings. With an impressive conference record of 14-2, they currently hold the top spot with Ramapo, Kane, and Stockton trailing behind. Not only are the profs dominating within the conference, but their overall record of 29-7 and, and win percentage of 80.5% shows they've been consistently demonstrating their strength against tough competition throughout the season. With a current five-game win streak intact, the team is set to finish the season with another home doubleheader against Montclair on the 27th. Let's switch gears and talk about what's going on with our baseball team. After snapping a four-game losing streak with a 20-5 win over Rutgers Camden, we talked to third baseman Anthony Schooley about how it feels getting back in the win column. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we've had a tough couple of last games, and, you know, I figured that um, it was coming. You know, we know we can hit, we know what we got in us, and it was just a matter of time, which had to put our heads down and keep going to work. So uh, it was, felt good to have, you know, 20 hits today and get back out there and start progressing a little bit better. And, you know, for the next couple of games, I think we just got to keep working hard and get our heads down and just keep moving forward. The Profs did move forward as they went 9-2 and two since our last episode. On April 11th and 12th, they found their groove against Rutgers Camden, clinching wins in a spectacular fashion with their bats on fire, scoring a whopping 29 runs in a com combined home-and-home. -home. 
April 13th brought another doubleheader against Ramapo, resulting in a split against the Roadrunners. They then took a break from NJAC competition to notch a 6-5 win against York on the, fifth, on the 16th. Back to, NJ, back to NJAC play, they conquered TCNJ in another home and home against the Lions. But on the 20th, they faced a challenging doubleheader against William Patterson, securing a win in the second game after a tough loss in the first. They wrapped up the week winning 9-5 against Immaculata University yesterday afternoon. In the 1-0 win against TCNJ, senior Mike Shannon stole the show with an absolute masterpiece on the mound. Shannon pitched a complete game shutout against the Lions last Friday, racking up eight strikeouts and winning the NJAC Baseball Pitcher of the Week. His season ERA sits at a 2.54 with 52 strikeouts and 60.1 innings pitched this year. Shannon now holds a record of five wins and two losses. The props look for Shannon to be a key piece in the rotation for the remainder of the season. The props have two doubleheaders left this year against Rutgers Newark and NJCU. Let's take a look at where they sit in the standings. Currently, Kane and Stockton hold the top spots in the NJAC with a 10-4 in the conference record, while Rowan is currently in the middle of the pack with a NJAC record of 7-7. Seven seven. With the six top teams qualifying for the NJAC tournament, Rowan will continue to stay hot as the season is winding down. Heading over to women's lacrosse, the profs have started to turn things around. Coming off of a big 21-12 loss to Franklin and Marshall, the team flips the script with a three-game win streak. The profs demolished Kane 19-9 with Kalista Burke leading the game with a hat trick in the first period. On the 13th, they took on Stockton at home and continued the offensive explosion, beating the Ospreys 17-6. Heading back on the road against Ramapo, the profs secured another huge win, scoring 22 goals on 28 shots. In the win against Stockton last Wednesday, junior Molly Green reached a personal milestone and made Rowan women's lacrosse history. The score was 5-5 halfway through the second quarter. Molly Green drives to the net and scores her 100th career goal. Congratulations, Molly, on the incredible accomplishment. Here's to many more goals and victories in the games to come. Green and the Profs look to continue their winning ways against TCNJ later today. Let's look at where Rowan sits in the NJAC standings. Despite of having an overall seasonal record of 6-9, Rowan is still second in the conference. Both the Profs and TCNJ have an in-conference record of 3-0, but TCNJ holds an overall record of 10-4. This makes this afternoon's Senior Day matchup very important as the profs look to claim their top spot in the NJAC. The team is more focused on their game more than ever before. I had the opportunity to talk to a few players and see how they prepare themselves for game day. Rowan University's women's lacrosse team, currently ranked second in the NJAC, refuses to settle for mere placement. After their defeat in last spring's NJAC championship to TCNJ, the team recognized the need for unwavering focus this season. Team captain Hannah Lombardo and sophomore attack Elena Corson turned to their pregame rituals to mentally prepare for the challenges ahead. I always get my hair braided the same way Molly Green does me with two braids and I get a bun. There has been times where I think I've um, strayed away from those rituals and I just think it causes me to have a lack of focus. I think that sticking to that routine and doing that every single time before a game really does help me um, stay focused and lock in before a game. I usually always do my hair the same way with two Dutch braids into a bun. And then our team usually always comes into a huddle. We kind of do a chant. It's like whose house, our house, or if we're away, it's whose game, our game. And I think that really just connects us and gets us hyped before each game. You know, this year especially, instead of focusing on the other team going to games, I think it's really just a focus on ourselves and what we can go out there and do and not really worry about like, you know, the other team's stats, the other team's um, schedule. It's just really all about us. So I think that helps us really stay locked in the day before a game. Just the way our team honestly flows better and stays calm is just focusing on us, what we need to do. Um, our team, how we're going to perform, and we just really trust in that process and we trust in our own team that it doesn't really matter what the other team brings, it matters like how we play as a unit and together. With this season of Profs Huddle coming to an end, we want to highlight some star players for their hard work and success throughout Season 8. Here are our most valuable Profs.
First up, from our women's lacrosse team named IWLCA D3 Co-Defensive Player of the Week, after also earning last week's NJAC Defensive Player of the Week, we recognize Molly Green. This season, she got a career high of five goals in a single game in their win over Kane last week, with 44 total goals and 11 assists so far this season. Congrats on an amazing season so far. Next, we want to recognize our MVP from the softball team. With three hits in the game on the 14th and a double and a pair of triples on the 7th, she has made some big career highs this season. Senior Peyton McNair picked up a career high of five RBIs against William Patterson earlier this month. In 36 games played, she has a batting average of 410, 33 RBIs with 48 total hits on the year. Keep up the great work, Peyton. As the baseball team's co-captain, playing not only as pitcher, but also steps up to the plate as a designated hitter, the last MVP award goes to Dylan Maria. Maria is batting 365 this season with 12 home runs and 42 RBIs. On the bump, he is 2-0 with one save and six innings pitched. The senior looks to finish the Rowan, his Rowan career with a bang as he has three home runs away from 30 in his career. It has been a pleasure covering all your Rowan Athletic news these past few months. Season 8 has been an amazing ride. Thank you to all of our viewers who stayed tuned with us each episode this season. Profs, we'll see you next season.